fossil, but not everything in this forest belongs here. Invasive species have been creeping into the region's forests for a number of years. But at Ruby Creek in Machosan, we're finding out how ecological restoration is giving native plants a fighting chance. This is only one of about 16 properties that we actively manage. Ruby Creek is in Machosan and it flows into Whitty's Lagoon, which is a CRD regional park. So today we have two, part, two other partners with HAT. We have CRD Parks is here as well with their volunteers. And we have the Greater Victoria Green Team um, that are here with their volunteers. Altogether, there's 35 of us. We are a regional-wide environmental volunteer program. So we work all the way from Souk to North Saanich, um, really collaborating with different groups and bringing the community to learn about different projects and participate in different volunteer activities that work to improve our environment. So um, today, we're removing invasive plants. And that's one big thing that we do. We've been pulling out a whole bunch of Daphne, uh, invasive plants. Some of them are plants you might find in your yard. Some of them they look quite pretty. They look a little bit like rhododendrons, I'm told. But the plants themselves are quite poisonous, so we've been taking all those out. It uh, removes the native composition, um, which in turn decreases diversity wildlife species, everything from soil all the way to the birds. So it, it changes everything. The whole ecosystem changes when the invasive species um, invade. So here, Ruby Creek, this is our eighth year um, working here. And we are really making some headway. And what we want to do eventually is get it so that it takes care of itself. I said, okay, I'm gonna do this because I need to learn how to restore our shoreline so that I can have our pe help our people save our land. And that is why I'm here. <laughs> We're installing over 260 trees and shrubs in the creek and on the banks, and that's to create a more diverse habitat. We really want to open up space in our native habitat and um, allow room for the native plants to grow. We had an exciting find a few years ago. Alana is one of my co-workers, found a blue-gray tail dropper slug. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of excitement, but this little slug, it's about an inch long, beautiful blue color, sometimes grayish, is threatened. But here on Vancouver Island, it's not common. We know very little about it. We weren't expecting to find it here. We think it's found on the edge of Gary Oak rock outcrops and forest. We know it likes a duff layer like other, you know, invertebrates, but we don't know a lot about it. And these flat pieces of, of cardboard are fabulous habitat for the slugs because if they need to hide, they can get in there. They stay moist when it's in the rainy season. And it's a great way to survey for what kind of species we have. And every month, starting when the rain starts, volunteers will come out and they'll check them, take pictures of what they find, and they take notes of all of that. And so we're just trying to find out more information, just data collection. And then these little keystone species, whether they're tiny slugs or they're big, lovely megafauna, they tell us something about the land. And though it seems it gets a focus on that single species, it's really habitat. It's really the multitude of species that get protected under one is amazing. Erica, one of our volunteers, just found a red-legged frog in the creek here. It's a special concern species in Canada. It requires forest habitats and uh, uh, wetlands, uh, so it's a good indicator of a nice uh, forest area. Everyone feels so satisfied at the end of the day. Um, you look around and see the difference you've made in just a short time, and that's because of so many people coming together and helping. Um, it's this really rewarding feeling that we're, you know, putting effort and time and love into the place that we, we live in. Anyone who's looking for something fun to do, explore probably somewhere you've never seen before, meet new people, and, and get your hands dirty too. I find it highly inspiring to learn, and I think it's really important. Um, for our future. The new home. I will never look at a forest the same way again, thanks to the teams of committed volunteers who've been weeding and planting. For Community Producers, I'm Heather Leary.